Those who work to catch your eye through the windows on Palm Beach's Worth Avenue take on a different challenge this time of year. A platform like an art fair uh, gives immediate feedback. Nick Korniloff is the director and executive vice president of the Palm Beach Modern and Contemporary Art Fair. It gives a great retrospective to what's happening or what's happened in the art world and now with the current trends of the market. But in doing so, gallerists like Adam Adelson. Curating an art fair is a lot different than curating an exhibition at the gallery. And Gabriel Gordon. We have about 6,800 pieces in inventory right now. Must pack a punch to draw your eye to their little booths in a 100,000 square foot exhibition space. There's a lot more competition in a way because there's so many great dealers. So they're choosing carefully pieces that might force you to move around them to experience an optical illusion, those can stop a viewer in their tracks. Gallerists might also consider how they hang their pieces. The salon wall is usually a big attraction. People spend a lot of time in front of it because there's a huge story of pictures that speak to each other. And they're picking pieces that could captivate with just the story of how they're made. Like a photo that's made without a camera, a sculpture built of colored pencils, or a collage cut intricately of comic books. And the art is supposed to do that. It's supposed to provoke you. It's supposed to make you think. Snagging your eye and drawing at your heart.